welcome back and happy new year. I took a break, obviously over the holidays. I also had one more um, Christmas Vlogmas video that I recorded of all of our ornaments, but I just figured by the time that I had time to actually upload it, since we worked until the 23rd, it was not Christmas anymore. So I was like, no, I'm just gonna not have that. But anyways, for those of you that are new here, my name is Kristen Langford. I am a pre-K teacher in Florida and I do weekly vlogs about what we're doing in our classroom. I also answer some questions that you guys have, some Tuesday talks here and there, all kinds of good stuff like that. So if that's something you're interested in, please stay along for the journey. Don't forget to hit subscribe so you can be notified when I do post videos and those of you that are continuing to watch, I really appreciate it. I hope you're having a wonderful back to school time. I don't know about you guys, but January is an exciting time for me and pre-K. I feel like they do come back and we have to review the rules and all that kind of stuff and some of them are upset because they've been home for two weeks but this is where the light bulbs just start clicking. You just see so much growth every single day and that is my favorite part. Okay, so I, the kids are outside on the playground and I am about to set up for our Wednesday cooking. It is Wednesday so took a little long <laughs> to get in the spirit of recording on Monday, Tuesday. I had to get my life together. But I have a lot of things to show you. We are doing a winter theme for the whole month of January with like tweaking a couple little things. So this week is like winter weather, not really snowmen, not really winter animals, just like winter. Snow, snowflakes, things like that. And then our letter of the week is letter R. So it is cooking today and we're not using the oven or anything. We're just gonna cook, cook some rainbow sticks, which honestly, hopefully this summer I have my life together and I like tweak some of my recipes in my recipe book because there's a couple things that I want to change as I've been making them. I'm like, I don't really like this one. Like the hippo with the pears. It's kind of hit or miss. I'm like, maybe I can find something else for letter H and then this one, letter R, rainbow sticks. It's super cute and Pinterest made it look like it was just phenomenal. But last year it didn't work very well so we'll see how it goes today. The ingredients are pretzel sticks and Fruit Loops, and then you put like marshmallows on the end, but the point, you're supposed to be able to put the Fruit Loop, like thread it through the pretzel stick, but a lot of Fruit Loops, the hole is not that big, and I'm sure you can catch along what I'm trying to say. So they'll break, and then like, <gasps> anyways, we're gonna, we're gonna try it, because the, the cookbook's already made, and it is what it is, but if you guys have any ideas for a letter R snack, or a letter H snack, Comment down below, because I'm willing to make it if I have some ideas. The other one that I kind of want to change is, I think letter A is ants on a log, if I remember. And the kids actually all ate it this year, but I know for a fact some of my students that I'm gonna have next year, because I have VPK students and I work at a school, so it's a lot of teacher kids, so I know the teachers already, um, they have allergies. And so that is a big thing to think about because a lot of kids have allergies. And I'm sure a lot of your schools are peanut-free schools. So if you have a letter A food activity, let me know that one too. I'm willing to make it. Okay, I'm gonna get ready, get set up for cooking, and then if I have time after that to chit-chat with you about anything else we have going on, I will. If not, I'll see you soon. Okay, so this is it. I tried to pick out the Fruit Loops that had like the biggest hole, but I have very little faith in this project. This is what we're gonna start with. We're gonna make it. We have extra cups of them if like they break one to try and give them another one. Once it's done, we'll give them extra snack because this is like literally nothing, bird food. <laughs> so we'll give them a couple extra pretzels and all that good stuff. 
Okay, so that's all set up. I'm like choking myself because my lanyard is so long. It keeps running into everything. Also my shirt, I love this shirt. It's a good day to teach tiny humans. So cute. Okay, we are good with that. They're still gonna be out there for 15 minutes. I like knocked that out of the park. Usually it takes so long because we have so many things going on. But um, like I said, it's winter theme. So I'm gonna go ahead and before, you know, we clean it up and I run out of time, I'm gonna show you the Play-Doh and the sensory and uh, that's it. Also sneak peek, if you see back there, our dramatic play this um, month is going to be a vet. It's super cute. When we thought about doing it before break, we had no inspiration. We were like, I don't know, maybe we should pick something different. It's not gonna look cute. And then we came back from break and we just knocked it out in two days. Miss Sam with her creativity and then me making the product. So I'll try to show you that during this week as well. And yeah, let me show you. All right, so on the oven that we're not supposed to have stuff on because if the fire marshal comes, even though it's turned off, we get in trouble. <laughs> Anyways, also bag of goldfish. This is an incentive for one of my children. I made these new like flip books for behavior and goldfish seems to be the way to his heart as well as toy animals. So that's here for backup. Okay, so like I said, winter theme. We got some snowflakes that they can put in there. They they literally love just sticking these into the Play-Doh. We have our clear gems, our cutters, our blue gems, rollers, and then blue Play-Doh that comes in these. That's like the worst Play-Doh, honestly, but oh well. It was free. They The district bought it for us. So they come in these like little tiny bags that they can never get it back into that little tiny bag. So we end up putting them in bigger bags. And by the end of the week, they're disgusting. So we usually have to throw them away. So that's kind of annoying, but oh well. So that is Play-Doh. All right, and then our sensory bin has our rug. We had to wash it, so it's drying right now. It was looking disgusting, but now it's nice and pretty again. I'm gonna move that and then I'll show you inside. Okay, here we go. Nice and easy, same exact things. We got the blue little beads that go everywhere. We got the snowflakes. We have the white pipe cleaners, silver pipe cleaners, and cotton balls. Easy peasy. Okay, I was gonna wait to show you this, but the kids haven't even played in it yet. We just finished it yesterday, so Miss Sam will be very proud if I show you what it looks like before the kids come destroy it. <laughs> so, it is a vet. These are the chairs that the students will wait in the waiting room for. We have our open and close sign hanging here. We have the pay here. We also have the register and the cell phones out for the kids. Nice little plant. <laughs> This down here, we have our opening hours and the pricing for the different things that they can choose. Then up here, we have a clipboard with a marker. And now that I'm looking at this, nobody has played with it yet, but there's writing on it. So that means my own children yesterday wrote on it <laughs> when I told them not to. But anyways, so patient paperwork, they can make up a pet name, sound it out. They pick which type of animal they're bringing, and I'll show you all the animals in a minute temperature they can make up a number they're gonna then they hand it in and then the well they hand it in here and then the doctor can do the temperature and diagnose if they're sick or well and then what the treatment will be so a band-aid some medicine a shot an x-ray okay, so now turning the corner we have our dog food bowl and our dog water bowl i don't know where the dog is right now probably over in the in the crate oh wait till you see the crate then over here, we don't have a lot of supplies. We just have money. And then we have an extra x-ray because these x-rays can go inside of our x-ray machine that we just made with a box and paper. We put on these clear sleeves. So let's say they're giving a fish an x-ray, then they can have the fish on here or they can take it out and say one of their friends brought a dog. Oh boy, there we go and they slide the dog x-ray in, and then they can put the dog inside the x-ray machine, and it shows the x-ray, super cute. So there's one on this side, and then there's also a turtle on this side, and then the extra is kept over there. So we also are labeling that this is the x-ray machine where it goes. We have the stethoscope, whoa, super blurry. There we go, the stethoscope there. And then we have our only our supplies out that go with a vet. So we have a doctor and then another doctor for vet, actually. Then we have our doctor kit. Ooh, there we go. It has little tools in it. Also an extra stethoscope. And then <clears throat> we have our labels if they want to say that they are the vet. They have their labels here for what they are doing. 
Then we have a scale. We don't have an actual scale. It's on my wish list because there's a lot of things like the grocery store you can use a scale for. But we just made one. We just wrapped it in tin foil, a box, and then a lunch tray. And it just says four pounds. Like everybody's gonna be four pounds. <laughs> but we have a turtle on here to be weighed right now. And then we have, a, these are the crates. So we have a cat and a bunny and then the dog here. And we also have a bird and a cage. And the best part about this is it's all from my daughter's room. My middle child loves animals. So these are literally all hers, even the bird cage and the bird. And I asked her if we could borrow them. <laughs> and she was kind of upset at first, but then I said it was only for a month and she gave in. Okay, moving on, we have Heartworm medicine, tick medicine, the syringe. So if you open in here, we made just like an empty one that's heartworm medicine with little toys in it. And then we put bunny treats. And then over here is the tick medicine. I do think that the syringe might be in the doctor kit. So we can move that over here. All right. These are all their supplies. So we have Band-Aids and Miss Sam and Miss Whitney saw this on Pinterest. It's just felt and you can, it literally sticks right around the animal. So it looks like they have a Band-Aid on. How cute. Okay, then we have tweezers for surgery. We have tongue depressors and then cotton balls, you know, if they're bleeding or something. <laughs> then we have a water bowl and a food bowl again if we need to use that. We also have chairs here for like when you get to come into the exam room with your pet, you can sit and wait while the doctor's talking to you. And then we have a fish bowl here and a turtle cage here. We also have the grooming station and to wash your hands and stuff. And then we have all of our grooming tools. This came with the Melissa and Doug um, dog and cat that we have for our class pets. So we just have all those supplies. Then this is our x-ray board. It's the same x-rays, but it's just decoration at this point for the doctors to be able to examine their x-rays. And then up here we have our weekly schedule for who's coming and what they're coming for. And then finally we have the pet hospital banner. So everyone knows what it is. Okay, I'm officially out of time. They're probably gonna walk in any minute, but how cute is that vet? It like all came together and is above and beyond what I thought it would be. And it looks great because nobody's played with it yet. Anyways, I'll be back on here probably tomorrow. I'll go through small groups and things like that, but hope you're enjoying this. I'm glad I'm back and I hope you're having a great new year. Hello, it is Friday and we had a crazy morning because it's raining here in Florida and that means no playground or even outside time. So that always calls for a little more chaos in the classroom, a little bit inside too long. It's Friday. <laughs> It's raining here in Florida, so we were stuck inside, which means the class was a little chaotic, and we had probably too much playtime indoors, and so, you know, it's just, I'm happy that is my lunch break right now, because outside time is usually my break too, so none of us got a break, and we're all like, Wah. I haven't gone over our small groups yet, but before I do that, on Fridays, we don't do small group, so we do like a math activity all together, and then we do show and share for the letter of the week, which was letter R. So I wanted to show you the math activity we did because the kids did a really good job with it. It's this paper right here. It's from Maria Gavin, kindercraze.com. I will link it down below for you guys, but we went over um, measurement. We're gonna do four weeks of measurement. So this week we only talked about short and long or short and tall, that was it. And so this is like kind of like a culminating type assessment kind of thing. And they have this paper to sort short and long. And so what you do is every kid got strips of paper. I did four different colors. So I had orange and purple and green and red. And then we had scissors out and we said, okay, everyone grab the purple paper. Find a spot where you want to cut it one time. And they cut it. So I made two papers, right? So we did that with all four of them. And then we said, okay, on this first box, I want you to put all the short ones that are on your table, then put all the long ones. And so obviously in kindergarten, they'd be able to do this on their own, but we had me and a para and a para, Miss Whitney, Miss Sam at a different table. And that way we could kind of like small group almost, but not really, we're all doing the same activity. And you know, we could compare them. We'd say, okay, well here's the two purple ones, which one's short? And they would point, okay, put that one here. Here's the two orange ones, which one's long? Okay, put that one here. And so they put them on there and then we said, okay, now that you're done with that, you can glue. And we put them out in the hallway and they're so cute. 
and yeah they did pretty good with that so I'm impressed next week we're doing heavy and light and we're gonna do our Friday activity in the elementary stem lab which is in the middle school building so last time we went there one of our friends got sick we think maybe he was just sick, maybe he was nervous, I don't know, so oh, fingers crossed we survive it this time. And we're gonna do like an investigation with scales because we don't have a lot of scales in here. So we're gonna use the science lab. Okay, so starting off with math, since we were just talking about that, even though you know the, the unit this week was measurement, we did review in small groups. So I didn't really do any measurement type activities. I haven't really planned, <laughs> I need to do that during nap time plan out my small groups for next, next week and see if we're gonna throw in some review of short and long during that. But for my group, I worked on um, putting something in order with ordinal numbers. So it's like strips like these and this printed wrong. I learned now you have to, if this ever prints, you have to open it up on Adobe Reader so that the boxes don't print like that. But whatever, it's already printed. So anyways, these people are all in order and we practice counting first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and then I have the cards that go with it, I have like the little person, but then also these. So I put those in order and then each kid, when it was their turn, I'd say, okay, let's find the torch and we would point to the torch on this paper and then we would count together. First, second, third, fourth, okay, what does that look like? It's seventh, put it under the seventh. Um, with some, that went fast with like my high group. So then I said, okay, I want you to tell me which one is in the fifth spot. And so then they had to do the counting to find the fifth spot and then they found the card to match it. So we just, you know, differentiated it a little bit and obviously the lower group needed a little more support. Um, my lowest group, we just matched. We didn't even do ordinal numbers. I said, oh, ballerina. And then I would give them like two cards match where's the ballerina and they would touch the ballerina or hand over hand ballerina and then we would put it underneath to match you know so it's very easy to differentiate the same activity and pre-k with whoever your group is okay and then I don't know who did what I think this one was Miss Whitney's but one of the small groups same thing all these things printed wonky but the mittens and it had the number and so they just had to put cotton balls, snowballs to match that number. And they also had a number matching mitten game too. So they had to count how many mittens were on there and then they had to match it with the other number or the other amount of mittens. Okay, and then the other small group table was still more mitten counting type activities. If I like can find where I got, I feel like all of these kind of go together. Yeah, Miss P's something it doesn't really say what it is but if I can find it I will link it down below for you if I can't find it sorry they were all free I used them last year too okay so this one was just the clip cards that's an easy activity and then this one is count the snowflakes so they had to count the snowflakes and then find the number with the mitten and then they put like a little eraser on it okay and then for reading all my things kind of stay the same which makes it very easy for me to lesson plan which makes it easy for me to go home when i need to go home in my group we're doing the sor reading and it was the letter r so we have our laminated books for the letter r but i did switch it up a little bit so the group comes to me twice so my two middle groups do this activity right the first time they came to me we really worked on just what the letter R looks like, the sound that it makes, we traced it, and then we use our new curriculum with learning, whoop, there we go, learning without tears, and I haven't done the training yet, so I'm not like doing it exactly the way that they're telling me to do it. I haven't really learned anything. I'm like looking through the book, and I'm like, uh, I don't know. But it has these really cool magna doodles, right? And the buildable blocks in here, so we used it, and we, built the letter R and then we took them off and they're magnetic. So then we got to trace the letter R and it was a fun new tool so the kids loved it. So that's pretty much what we did the first day. Just like talking about the R, looking at the R, what an R is, what an R is not, what sound does it make, all of that. Then when they came to me the second time, we did the book, we talked about things that start with R, we read it all together, then they read it by themselves with their whisper phones that I have over there. And then we did a sort with the letter R and then like a letter that we've already learned, letter M I think is the one we did this week. And it's just like picture cards and so we went through which sound it starts with, the beginning sound. 
So I think it went really well. It's not exactly how the lesson plan is put out here, but it's still all the same skills that they need. And once I do the training for learning without tears, I feel like I'll be able to implement that as well. Then Miss Sam's group, she did. R is for rain, super cute. And then day two, we made these really cute winter hats, but we sent them home, so I, didn't, I couldn't show you. We usually hang them up outside, but we just, I don't know back to school we forgot so they're just white cardstock hats and then they used a white crayon and drew like zigzags and designs and all that and then they used water paint to go on top of it which <laughs> they're not very good at water paint because I'm not adding enough water so that was fun and then they added a little pom-pom on the top at the end to make it like a little snow hat all right and then Miss Whitney's group uses the SOR as well she does this paper on the first day with the letter sort of things that start with that letter and things that don't. This is for next week, letter E. And they cut out the picture so they're getting that cutting practice, they're gluing it on, and they're also writing the letter E. Then, on day two, she does the fine motor journals with like drawing lines and tracing it to write the letter E. So it's all about like writing it and how to write it. So, or not E, letter R. <sighs> you know, I'm already ready for next week. All right, and then computer and library. So easy peasy. I think that's everything. We have been really behind on our poetry notebook. Um, so behind that like we do the poem every single day, but then on Friday we're supposed to like put it into the notebook, but I don't know what's been happening. We keep forgetting. So Miss Whitney's been like backtracking and like gluing in the little clip art with the poem, but today we're gonna do it. And Miss Sam had to hand cut out snowflakes because our poem is called Snowflakes, Snowflakes All Around. You know, like brown bear, brown bear, touch the ground. That's what it is. I already showed you the vet, which I hope you guys think is amazing, as I think they are playing. This is like the first one that I think out of all of them, they, they're playing with the best. They're actually dramatically playing and pretending, and so that's super exciting. I'm sure I forgot something because I'm a little rusty at this vlogging since we were on break, but I'll see you guys next week. And if you guys have any questions for anything like Tuesday talk that I haven't already done yet, add those down below. I kind of feel like we're running out of topics to talk about, but I'm sure you can think of something. As usual, don't forget to click that like button, that subscribe button, and that notification bell, and I will be back soon. See ya.